Hi friends, I am Saradhi and I am going to show you how to report against the ILM file archives of our tables using the iReport Designer Professional. So in this video we are going to learn how to create an ODBC DSN for the ILM file archive server, how to use this ODBC DSN and create a data source in the iReport Designer and how to create a report against archive tables using the iReport Designer. So the first step is to create an ODBC DSN in the ODBC administrator so we would go to the system DSN and if you have to create a new DSN you would add the DSN since I've already created the DSN I would show you what parameters we need to include in the DSN so the data source name is any name that you could use to identify the archive folder then the server on which the ILM file archive server is running the port number on which the ODBC is running and the username and the password and by default the SQL parser is SQL 92 and when you click on update it would look for the archive folders and it would populate this list now we are going to select the archive folder that you are going to create a repository against and say OK to create the DSN now we use this DSN in the iReport designer to create a data source connection so the first step is to create a data source connection you would use a database JDBC connection when you click next you would select the driver as the JDBC ODBC bridge and this is the DSN name that is specified in the ODBC DSN which should be ARC DSN so here specify a a r c d s n and we specify the username and password here and when we test the connection connection is successful so specify any name here and save the data source now we are going to create a new report so a, a new report and we would say launch report wizard now give a name for this report and the location where the reports are stored now when you say next we would use the DSN name here either you could copy paste a uh, already designed query here or you could launch the design query window when the design query window is launched it would show us what are all the tables in a given schema so in the archive folder DBO is the default schema so we have selected tables to be displayed now I would select the tables that I'm going to create a report against so I'm loading the parent table I'm loading the child table and I would have to load another table for this report now once the tables are loaded I would create the join conditions between the parent and child so I would select those columns that I do not want for display then want child ID now I would want to see the department and the area and if you want to join two columns you could join it this way now the grandchild I the syntax for this would be given here so here I would change the syntax a little and I would see the designer then it would ask me to apply the changes so you could either change the query in the syntax window or in the designer window so based on based on the uh, query that you have specified in the designer window it would you can see the same query in the syntax window so the department child ID and grandchild ID are chosen for the join and we could also join the parents child ID parents ID against the child's ID so I would select that for display or I would add it in the syntax clause
so I would see how parent is related to a IT now if I see the syntax clause it will show to me that the parent and child ID and the grandchild and child ID are joined so this is the designer when I click on OK it would show me the query here I would say next so this is selecting what are all the fields I want for display now I will give the ID name department and the area and I would say next and I could group by these columns let's say next and I'll create the report so this is the report and in this report we would have to design the objects so when I click on title and there is a page header there's a column header is a detail so title is the place where we will specify the title of the report so in the report I'm going to add a title and I would add a static text field place it in the middle and I would call it an employee report and we could do some basic text formatting and I'm not going to worry about the page header but I would add certain column headers here so because I've selected four fields here I would add four column headers so for that I will take a static text field and place it here so based on the size I would adjust the column header and for the static text field increase the size a little and we would again do the basic text formatting and I would add another static text field for the second column again let's do some basic text formatting here then another static text field for the third column which we would call department and another static text field for the final column this would be called the location so these uh, are the column headers and this is how the column headers appear in the report now we have to add placeholders for the actual data so here I'm going to add four fields now we have to bind each field to a column so I would add the ID field here add the name field here I would add the department field here and I would add the location field here and then we're going to save the report and now we could always see the XML view of the report then we can see preview of the report here so it's now actually connecting to the file archive server and retrieving the data for the query that we have specified in the report designer so it would now display the report header and the columns and the actual data for the reported columns so it is now compiling the report 
So there's one tab where we design the report. There is an XML tab where it would show the XML structure of the report. Then there is a preview tab which would actually show the report on how the data is formatted and what is the actual data that satisfies the conditions given in our report. So if you see here, it's still compiling the report and it is going to display the report. So a text field is added when we bind the expressions to the columns because each is a placeholder and for each placeholder we added a text field and a static text is added for those columns for which we give a static heading. Once the report is generated we would see the ID which was our first field, the name, the department and the location. So this is how we generate a report against the tables archived to the ILM file archive server using the iReport Professional. So in this presentation we have seen how to create an ODBC DSN for ILM file archive server, how to use that ODBC DSN as a data source in the iReport designer and how to use this data source to create a report against the tables archived to the file archive server. That is it in this presentation. Thank you and for any feedback or queries we would love to hear from you and you could contact us at this email ID or follow us on Twitter. Thank you.